Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, tech fans. I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome to this week's ITTV Update. In between, lots more of our extensive travel. We hope you didn't miss Into Tomorrow and our coverage from the Showstoppers for CTIA Wireless Week in Vegas, then the CEA Washington Forum in our nation's capital, followed by our show from the National Association of Broadcasters back in Las Vegas. We're putting more pins in our travel maps and earning many more sky miles than we can even use. Anyway, Rob Almanza will be joining us soon. He's got a neat Bluetooth device to watch out for. It's now time for This Week in Tech History. Take it away, Chris. Thanks. This week in 1894, the kinetoscope was demonstrated by Thomas Edison in New York City. A viewer that held about 50 feet of film, about 13 seconds worth, showed images of Annie Oakley and Buffalo Bill. In 1956, Ampex Corporation of Redwood City, California, demonstrated the first commercial magnetic tape recorder for sound and picture. The videotape machine had a price tag of $75,000. These early Ampex units were too large to fit in a small room. In 1947, Zoomar made its debut. Zoomar is a lens demonstrated by NBC TV in New York City. The Zoomar lens was a device that can feature close-up and long-distance camera shots from a stationary camera. Eventually, the lens would be scaled down for use by regular photographers, not just for television. There are many different kinds of close-up and long-distance lenses today, including the Zoom lens named after the original Zoomar. In 1941, Igor Sikorsky accomplished the first successful helicopter, or heliocopter as it was called then, liftoff from water near Stratford, Connecticut. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. Love helicopters. Have you seen our new website yet? Whenever you have a couple of minutes, do visit us at graveline.com or intotomorrow.com if you prefer. And be sure to take our new poll, too, while you're there. Rob's been testing a cool Bluetooth speakerphone device that does a lot more than just answer calls. Let's catch Rob before he drives off. Dave, check out the Ventura Mini. This device allows you to stream your music from your cell phone through your car speakers, hands-free calling, and even USB charging. That's right, so now your phone won't die when you're on your road trip. Check out how it works. Plug in the Venturi Mini into the cigarette lighter adapter, then pair it with your phone. It has a built-in FM transmitter, so you can transmit your music using any FM station available, or even plug in an MP3 player. You'll be able to see the info on your radio display if you have Car DS. You can also stream your music via Bluetooth, but you have to make sure your phone is a 2 dp capable. That way you can stream your music using Bluetooth. You can connect up to four music phones and connect other audio devices using the headphone cable provided. Once you pair your phone with the Venturi Mini, you can listen to your phone calls through your car speakers. Caller ID and phone book information can be shown on your radio display, but you have to have RDS capability. The sound quality is pretty good. The coolest part about the Ventura Mini is the USB connection it has. You can charge your phone using a USB cable or even your MP3 player. That way your phone battery will last you the whole road trip. The Venturi Mini is a very neat device. I got my tunes, so I'm going to hit the road now. I'll catch up with you guys in Vegas. Thanks, Rob. The Venturi Mini is available now for under 130 bucks. Graveline.com is where we'll link you to their website for much more information. Be sure to stay connected all the way into tomorrow as we bring you the latest tech updates from literally around the world. We'll watch for you next week right here.